Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs> Hey guys, we're going to learn about probability. Another name for probability that you may have come across is chance. Probability, chance, they mean the same thing. So what does chance or probability mean? Let us find out. Probability is the measure of how likely an event is. So we're measuring the chances of something happening. The chances or the probability of you passing your maths exam the probability of your favourite soccer team winning the grand final, the probability of rain or sunny tomorrow. It just depends on the probability of something happening. Let us look at the line, the scale that we use when we're measuring probability. We can see that this scale starts from zero and ends at one. One meaning 100%. Zero, we refer to it as nothing, as in, it is impossible for that event to happen. It is impossible. So zero, there's no way it's going to happen. An example of that would be a human living without oxygen. It is an impossible event for that to happen, for a human to live without oxygen. So we say it is impossible. The chances are zero. Then, on the other side of the scale we have one. One meaning 100%, which is certain that an event is certainly going to happen, it is for sure going to happen, 100%. We have these two ends in the scale. Impossible is zero, and one, right at the end, is 100%, it is certain. So in between, we, ha we have, as well, some measurements. In, right in the middle, we have an even chance. Even chance meaning 50%. 50% meaning it can be one or the other. It has an even chance of happening. So we say it is an even chance, it is 50%. So tossing a coin, for example, there is a 50% chance it's going to be a heads and a 50% chance is going to be a tails. So we say it is 50-50 or even chance. Then we have from zero to 50% or zero to 0 0.5, which is the same as 50%, is unlikely, meaning it is less than half. Less than half. It is a small chance of happening, meaning it is unlikely, it is an unlikely event that it will happen. So the term that we use is unlikely. That event most likely will not happen because it is less than half, less than 50%, between 0 and 50%. Then we have above 50%, all the way to certain. Between 50% and 100%, we call that likely. Likely meaning it has a high chance of happening, a high probability of happening. It's very important that we understand this scale. It starts from zero, impossible. It goes up unlikely all the way to even chance. And then it goes up likely of a chance or of an event happening up to 100% certain where it is certain that that event will occur. Let us look at some more theory. It is important to understand that in probability, the majority of times we're going to write it in fraction form. However, sometimes we can write it in decimal and in percentage, but the majority of times when we say find the probability of an event happening, we write it in fraction form. So looking at this theory, it says the probability of an event occurring, the probability of something occurring, equals the number of outcomes for that event over the total number of outcomes in the sample space. Now that's a lot of words, it can be technical. With a bit of examples, you're going to see how easy it is. All it's saying is that the number of outcomes in that event is divided by the number of outcomes in the sample space. What is sample space? 
meaning the total events that are there and the outcomes that we're looking for over the total that is the probability of that event happening. Now, the theory may be confusing. However, with examples, you're going to see it is very straightforward. But we have to go through the theory just to give you an understanding before we go through the examples. The formula we use is P, open bracket, E, close bracket, which means the probability of that event, the probability of an event happening, equals the number of that event over the number in the sample space. So that formula is basically short form for that theory right on top. Now, let's do examples. It will make your life much easier. You understand it and you'll notice it is very easy.